Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've filmed. Uh, I can't even remember the last time I filmed a video. It's been, I think, a couple months. Um, yeah, so I am really excited to start filming again. I had just a crazy couple months with work and also uh, we had a death in our family, so it was just, um, I just never felt like filming over the last couple months, but uh, yeah, I have a really uh, fun unboxing video to share with you guys uh, to get back into filming, hopefully once a week, uh, if, I, if I can manage to squeeze that in every week, I, I'm hoping. So anyway, let's get into this video. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a photo earlier today uh, asking for opinions on two bags. And um, it was pretty split down the middle the last time I checked. So, um, so many of you responded, so that was so nice, thank you. Uh, so I'm gonna get into the unboxing and then I'll kind of explain my thinking as I go. So. Um, this is, I'm going to open this one first. So this is the bag, the ribbon, the usual packaging, and this is the receipt because this is, uh, I, I actually bought this one first and then bought the other one. So, um, I do have two different receipts and I will tell you the price after I unbox it. So this is a true unboxing. I picked these up today and uh, have not opened them yet. So, all right. Oh, the camellia fell off the ribbon. There we go. So that's what it looks like there. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't, I haven't bought a bag in a little while and yeah I'm really excited I've been being good this year but now I'm back on Van Island all right so that is the tissue wrapped beautifully my essay always does a great job with packaging And here is the dust bag. To reveal, oh, she put tissue in here too. Oh yeah, she always packages everything up so nicely. So as you can tell, let me just get this off. This is the mini 255 reissue from the new collection. So this, um, some people were calling this the 224, but it's actually a little different because it is not a double flap. Uh, so you've probably been seeing photos of this on the first forum and on Instagram. And yeah, so it's, um, it's the mini 225 or mini reissue. And I chose it in the Navy. Uh, distressed calfskin and it has shiny gold hardware so I my essay had this in black beige and navy she she thought she had the green too but she it must have sold um, she couldn't find it but I went in with the intention to get the navy because I have a black bet you know a black rectangular mini I have a beige uh, mini or small vanity case um, so I don't have a navy bag and I thought this would be the perfect color to get because it goes with everything but it's just a little different than black it actually looked a little more casual than the black one and um, I love the shiny gold hardware I I know that it's gotten mixed reviews uh, on the thread a bit there's a long thread about the mini reissue on the purse forum and uh, some people weren't crazy about the gold hardware but I think it's gorgeous it's so pretty this is my first reissue so I'm super excited so let me show you the inside 
one thing I love about this is that it has the four grommets so it can be worn like the bigger sized reissues it can be worn double strapped or crossbody and it's a really nice length for crossbody on me I'm five foot four I will post more shots on Instagram for sure so here is the uh, inside it's pretty much the same or I guess it is the same layout as the rectangular mini and I'm guessing it's gonna hold about the same amount I haven't put anything in it yet so I'm not sure but um, and then here's the authenticity card so we're now on 28 series I think this is my first 28 series piece so yeah this was uh, one of the two options that I posted on Instagram and this is what I went in with the intention to get because I have wanted a reissue for a while now it's been, it was on my wish list for this year and the fact that it came out in a mini sock crossbody mini size I was super excited about it. I like that it's single flap and I I love the size because I love rectangular minis so I just yeah I love it and I thought navy will be perfect because I don't have a navy bag and it has the Mona Lisa pocket on the back I will definitely do a first impressions review of this bag when um, once I've used it a couple times, I couldn't find anything on, on YouTube about this one yet. So, um, I think I may be the first one to unbox this one. I'm, uh, I, I might be wrong about that, but I couldn't find anything when I looked last night. So that is my first purchase of the day. I, it's what I went in to get and I, I just couldn't leave it behind. Um, the, the aged calfskin or the distressed calfskin. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it's beautiful. Like it's, it's, I think it's the perfect amount of distressing. The black one looked a lot more distressed and the bag looked almost collapsed. I don't know why it, it, it looked different. I liked the look of this one better. It had a little more structure. Um, yeah, so that is my first purchase for today. So let me just, that to the side here. Right. Make some room for the next one, which is in this bag. So, oh, sorry, the I told you I was going to tell you the price. Uh, the price of the um, reissue mini in Canadian dollars was four thousand twenty five dollars so more reasonable than the other sizes of reissue for sure all right so there's my receipt for this one so <clears throat> after I purchased that I left the store went uh, was shopping at Yorkdale and ended up calling my essay and saying I needed to have this one too. Uh, so this is the Camellia. Let me just take that off. And these are both from the 19A. Is it 19A? Yeah. <clears throat> I think it's the 19A collection. So here is the tissue. Dust bag to reveal my new mini cocoa handle. Oh my gosh, this color is just unbelievable. Let me just take this off. So this was the other option on my poll on Instagram. And yeah, I ended up going with both. A few of you said both. So yeah, I... I had to go back for this. I just couldn't stop thinking about this color. Um, yeah, if if you know me, you know I love turquoise, and this iridescent turquoise is stunning. It, the color isn't quite coming up right on camera, um, 
Yeah, it's it's a little actually not quite as iridescent on camera as it is in real life. Like it's it's gorgeous and it's got the brushed gold hardware which looks really pretty against the uh, iridescent turquoise. Oh, it's so pretty. And my essay only had one and I was like, oh, I'm going to regret it. If I don't go back for it, I someone else is going to snatch it up and I'm going to regret it. So I, uh, yeah, I went back for it and now I am on Bean Island for sure. I love the mini cocoa handle. I have another one that I got last year and it's, uh, it's such a great bag. I love the, uh, the top handle on it and it's a really cute size in the mini. So here is the strap and the interior is burgundy, just like my other mini cocoa handle. Here's the stuffing and oh, here's some more. Oh, there's another felt piece of felt there. Um, show you the authenticity card for this one. So this one is also a 28 series. And the price, I do remember the price of this one. It was 4,600 Canadian plus tax. So yeah, I just, oh, I love this color. I, it's so special. And I, yeah, I just couldn't leave it behind. So the, yeah, this is from 19A as well. And um, 19A launches officially on June 13th in Canada, uh, but my essay was kind enough to show me these pieces ahead of time because um, I knew they would just go instantly. And I did get to see a few other pieces. There is a lot of gold in this collection, um, which I don't normally like too much gold but I do like the gold hardware on these two pieces and most of my pieces are not gold hardware so I'm happy to have a couple pieces with gold hardware. So these are my two purchases. I am so happy with both of them. I'm so excited to have a reissue in my collection and I'm excited that I got the navy because I haven't seen many pictures of the navy so I don't think uh, it was ordered by as many places in the U.S. but um, but yeah, I really, really like the navy with the shiny gold hardware and this, oh, it, I just think it's such a special piece. So yeah, so that, those are my two purchases. Please let me know what you think. Um, thank you again to those of you who commented on my photo and it was, yeah, it was pretty split down the middle. So I just, I ended up going with both. Um, so back on Ban Island for me, uh, yeah, sorry for not uploading any videos for a while, but uh, I'm hoping to get back on track with, uh, yeah, with YouTube and catching up on, on all my favorite YouTubers as well. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this type of video, please consider subscribing and also following me on Instagram. My handle there is fashionjunkie33. Thanks so much and have a great day.